Now this is part two of driving to the, the bu Chinese buffet in Plymouth. And uh, I hope that guy ain't gonna be a fucking asshole. I wanna get the camera. This is the school I went to. It's way over there. Just hope no one starts any shit with me for getting a camera on him. But uh, that wasn't a bad experience. You know, we, we, in a, it wasn't a perfect experience, but uh, like the time when I did an oral presentation, or I did a had an English class, and the English teacher, I think he was gay, but he was still a fucking fascist asshole, fucking shitbag, douchebag, and fucking asshole. Because I once mentioned that because he did practice on writing memor memorandums and offices and things like that, and and he would talk with a lisp, and I said, I don't know what the fuck, I can't remember the fucking thing right now, but it was about getting a, some kind of fabric for something or something, and I said, so, I don't remember the whole fucking details, I'm going to have to paraphrase some of this, it, it, it was um, getting, getting, um, like, um, I got it. Don't get the orange fa don't get get the red fabrics or get instead of the orange fabrics because the orange fabrics suck. That's all I said. That's what I wrote down. And this uptight fucking asshole did, did not like that. And that's actually tame in comparison to the shit that I do in my spoken words and everything. And he, I think he talked with a list from what I remember. It's very inappropriate to use that. And the thing that made me hate his fucking guts is I said, yeah, I guess you're kind of right. I guess you really can't get away with that in the corporate world or use language like that. But it really shouldn't be that way. And when he said, you should be that way. And when he said that, that told me he's a fucking asshole. He's a fucking douchebag asshole. Motherfucker, piece of fucking shit, fucking asshole. I fucking hate people like that. I really fucking hate people like that. I fucking hate them. I'm sick and tired of meeting those types of fucking assholes. I really hate those types of fucking assholes, shitbag fucking assholes who think like that. And then I did my oral presentation and it was about, actually talked about Florida and how much I hated that fucking place. And actually it went over pretty good for some people. It blew people away because of my creativity. But that fucking asshole that said that I, I should, should be careful about the audience I select. And then this woman in the class was a real fucking cunt who uh, also was a born-again Christian Bible-thumping fucking cunt bitch who also um, has a kid and uh, she says it's very negative the things I said of course she's a fucking stupid fucking cunt anyway but I really hate people like that it's people like that is why I hate people I can't stand most people in their fucking bullshit and their narrow-minded fucking bullshit asshole ways of looking at things I'm out of time god I can't even fucking see I can't go over n minutes it looks like this video is gonna have to go in um e parts I'm fucking fortunately I can't even see God, I can't even see this fucking thing. Yeah, I think it's E and a half minutes. So I got until about yeah, that time. But anyway, the, going to school wasn't that bad of an experience. It was a... Uh, except for that fucking... Oh, and I was on the student council, which I never got to experience like that. I'm, I'm a person. Recently, it's been almost two months now since I've been diagnosed with Asperger's Syndrome. And the only reason I took it because I felt flattered. And uh, I was the vice president. But this fucking shitbag asshole from Nigeria or whatever said, it gave me shit because I didn't follow the dress code and I didn't wear a, you know, wear a suit and tie and all this shit. Like, what a f And then he was bitching about me not dressing up. What a fucking asshole trying to shove his shit down my fucking throat and get so fucking moral with me and tell me how to dress and all that fucking bullshit. I hate people like that. I really hate people like that. I just wish they'd take a flying fucking eat shit. I hate it when people try to control me. And I didn't feel comfortable with any of that shit anyway because most people are fucking assholes and I, I'd rather just do my own thing. 
not. But I guess it was just because I, I, I took it just simply because uh, at least it would be un, unkind of mainstream event of an experience I'd get to experience in my lifetime, I guess. And then another thing is, I mean, there were some good experiences like that, like learning Microsoft Word and learning how to use Excel and things like that were pretty cool. And actually, I enjoyed, I enjoyed the computer classes and everything. But then, when you get out in the real world working with these fucking corporate fucking pigs who are so fucking greedy and it's so fucking stressful, and it isn't fun anymore because I'm good at working with things but I'm not good with working with people because most people are fucking assholes when I can't fucking stand them. And they're so fucking greedy and they're too fucking greedy to... And most people are a bunch of mediocre, stupid, boring, conformist fucking assholes. I just wish they'd take a flying fucking eat shit. I hate people like that. I hate the way most people are in the world. Most people are boring, stupid fucking assholes. But anyway, I want to get to my feast at the Chinese buffet and I'm hungry except I've been doing a liver flush and my stomach's been acting up my stomach was bothering me before the liver flush but it, it's, there's something going on actually I feel kind of better than I did before the liver flush and I had gallstones as well which has got them out the I don't know if it's even if I'm doing the right fucking thing because I'm doing it through a t through a a tea, but that they show on YouTube and shit like that is where you gotta have olive oil, and I didn't have no fucking olive oil. I just had tea, and I'm not done with it yet either. Yeah, I guess maybe it's more gentle than that brutal shit. Cause that can that can give you a diarrhea, and diarrhea is yucky. Diarrhea is yucky fucking shit. And diarrhea comes from Satan. Diarrhea is so evil. Diarrhea is kind of like, you know, it's if, if, if you never if you ever had diarrhea, it's kind of it, it feels like you're pissing out of your asshole. If you never had diarrhea, I just want you to know what to expect when you get it. And where am I with the time here? Oh God, I got a couple of minutes left. Oh, and the liver flush, um, one of the reasons I made, one of the major, major reasons I decided to do it is because of my itchy balls. They told me that if I flush out my liver, because you actually, it's a liver that when your body releases toxins and all that shit, and if you flush your liver, then my balls went itch. But my balls are still itching, and I, I was scratching them today, and I still had to put Lotrazone on my itchy balls earlier. Oh, I'm in Plymouth, I'm getting close to the... Old country buffet. Not not old country Chinese buffet. Shit, fuck. The wrong fucking thing. I'm trying to keep track of the time here. I don't think it's going to be able to be in a half and a half minutes already. I just passed one extant, so I should be there in about another, I don't know, eight minutes, hopefully. It looks like it's going to have to get divided up into E parts. is going to fuck up the quality of the video and that's going to fucking suck but there's no way I could go west at 6 o'clock in the evening now after we get standard time at the end of October and in fact it'll be here before you know it I won't be able to make videos in the evening anymore because it'll be dark the camera doesn't make good video at night and that fucking sucks so that's the thing that fucking sucks about going back to standard time which will happen in a couple of months you'll be here before you know it 